The U.S. Bishops Conference, the USCCB, now has six new committee chairmen. Yay! They won't do anything, but yay! Yesterday, the bishops considered 12 nominees for the conference's committees. That's really important. Choosing six to lead functions ranging from budget and finance to migration. Church Militant's William Mahoney has more on the winners, who are mostly losers. Metuchen Bishop James Cecchio beat Seattle's Archbishop Paul Etchen for the Finance Committee. Cecchio blesses a so-called LGBTQ faith-sharing group in the diocese and once invited pro-gay Jesuit James Martin to his residence for what Martin called a wonderful discussion. As rector of the North American College Seminary in Rome, Cecchio recommended for holy orders homosexuals and men like Sacramento's excommunicated priest Jeremy Leatherby, who preyed on married women. Lansing Bishop Earl Boyer beat Archbishop Samuel Aquila for the Vocations Committee. Boyer is reported to favor the homosexual network in the church. He's been accused of cover-up, and one alleged clergy sex abuse victim in 2019 even called for the prelate's resignation. Things are never going to get perfect. They're just never going to be perfect. Bishop Stephen Lopes of Houston's Personal Ordinariate beat St. Louis Archbishop Mitchell Rosansky for the Worship Committee. Lopes is considered by most to be orthodox. He's the first bishop of the Ordinariate, a structure Pope Benedict XVI established in 2012 to bring former Anglicans into the Catholic Church. Boris Gudziak, head of Philadelphia's Ukrainian Catholic Archeparchy, beat Bishop Thomas Paprocki for the Social Justice Committee. In 2020, one whistleblower priest in the Ukrainian Chancery accused Gudziak of lying about immigration and backing the homosexual agenda at a Catholic university in Ukraine. In 2019, Notre Dame awarded Gudziak for his work in Ukraine. We've made it. We've got computers. Los Angeles Auxiliary Bishop Robert Barron beat Dallas Bishop Edward Burns for the Family Committee. Barron contradicts our Lord's own words, falsely teaching Jesus is only the privileged way to heaven and vainly speculating hell could be empty. One retired LAPD officer who's tried to work with the prelate spoke to church militant, calling Barron a phony. We're trained not to stay kind of in the comfortable space. El Paso Bishop Mark Seitz beat Miami Archbishop Thomas Wensky for the Migration Committee. Seitz peddles everything from the Marxist group Black Lives Matter to the political left's climate change narrative. He is a vociferous supporter of open borders and established an experimental jab mandate for all diocesan employees. She was so vulnerable. Uh, I was fearful too. With the possible exception of Bishop Stephen Lopes, the new appointments show the bishops will not be accompanying faithful Catholics anytime soon. William Mahoney, Catholic Info Hour, Baltimore. <laughs>